Thank you very much for the introduction and thank you for this opportunity. Um, when using uh, lungfish in, uh, salmon farm, in the salmon farming industry, the pros and cons regarding biofouling on the nets where uh, the lungfish are inhabited is frequently discussed. Some claims that uh, the biofouling on the net might interfere with the cleaning efficiency of the lungfish if the lungfish prefer to eat uh, organisms of the net instead of sea lice of the salmon while others prefer to have their nets heavily coated with biofouling, as this obtain an environment similar to the natural environment of the lungfish, giving them both shelter and, um, and something to stick to, as well as guarding them from strong currents and rough seas in general. So here we'll look a bit into what we see uh, regarding biofouling on the nets and lungfish in the Faroe Islands. Uh, when we do lungfish monitoring, we also register uh, how uh, the nets, uh, biofouling on the nets. We group the uh, nets, let the biofouling into four different categories, where the first category is clean nets, and the second cat category is light biofouling. The third category is occasional uh, macroalgae. And the fourth category are nets uh, heavily coated with macroalgae. Uh, since the due to seasonality, are very few uh, uh, category four registered uh, nets in, in autumn and winter, we have excluded these from the data, but still have approximately 10,000 fish to work with. Uh, <clears throat> regarding welfare, we have uh, looked at the uh, liver color, uh, grouped them into dark, pale, and orange livers, representing uh, starved, compromised, and healthy lungfish, respectively. Regarding the condition of the uh, lungfish, we have uh, we're looking at uh, Fulton's K, the relationship between uh, length and weight of the fish. And then we also look at skin damaged, uh, grouping it into healthy, bruised, and wounded skin. And finally, the tail erosion, where we again have grouped it into three categories, where the first category is no erosion, the second category is light erosion, and the uh, last category is heavy erosion. Uh, this, uh, the grazing, uh, the cleaning efficiency, efficiency is measured as uh, the average number of sea lice found in the lungfish stomachs. Uh, since the biofouling of the nets probably is very much linked to how long the nets have been in, uh, in the Cape and in the sea, uh, we also look at different sizes of lungfish, so the data isn't biased by. Uh, and as you can see, <clears throat> the average number of sea lice uh, number found in the, in the lungfish was higher when there was some biofouling on the nets. It was only the very clean nets that had uh, significantly fewer lump, no, sea lice in the lungfish stomachs. However, this uh, tendency decreased with increasing size of lungfish. And when the lungfish had passed 100 grams, this, uh, there was no significant correlation anymore. But, uh, but the trend somehow seemed to still uh, be there. Regarding uh, the welfare of the lungfish, we found uh, a significant uh, correlation between all the parameters we talked about earlier in the presentations. However, they didn't really gave any logical sense, uh, all but, but the uh, tail erosion. Uh, and a high value uh, means um, more eroded tails. And the more uh, biofilm was uh, registered on the net of the cage from which uh, the lungfish were sampled, the less eroded was uh, the tail of the lungfish. And this trend was consistent uh, with all the different lungfish sizes, although becoming uh, less, uh, 
distinguish uh, the larger the lumpfish were. When the lumpfish had passed 200 grams, it was only the, the nets, the lumpfish from cages with nets with heavy biofouling that had significantly fewer uh, t uh, tails with uh, heavily eroded. So to uh, wrap it up, there was no signs of lungfish being uh, less effic effective uh, cleaners uh, in relation to how uh, much biofilm there was in, on the nets, perhaps more on the contrary. This is also in uh, concert, but has already been published. There were some mixed um, signals for regarding the welfare of the lungfish, but the, the signal from the lungfish tail was very clear and was uh, significantly better when uh, the more the nets were coated with biofouling. The, the question is, is, of course, why is this so? Is it because it reduces wear of the, of the tail? Uh, does it inhibit uh, bacterial activity or does it di diminish uh, competitive behavior between uh, lungfish, uh, such as biting, with, which is uh, frequently observed in the hatchery? Yeah, thank you for listening and thank you to Hidden Fjord.